Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Brendan, and today I have some exciting news. We signed up for our first marathon in over two years, and I'm so excited to share with you the journey of this. Through my training, I hope to share with you guys the do's and the don'ts because I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes, but overall, I just wanna share my experiences with you folks here so you can learn and grow and kind of go along this journey with me. The marathon I signed up for is the Blue Nose Marathon here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, happening on May 19th, 2024. It's gonna be a good one. And if any of you know that course, it's a bit of a hilly one, but fortunately I live in the area, so I'll be able to get some practice along that course. And the area that I live in, it's full of rolling hills, which on most days I don't really like, but in this training block, I'm a big fan of because I will be prepared. Now this is gonna be the first of many videos in this series where I go and share with you my training. This will be like the weekly edition where I share with you the previous week's training, what I did well, how I planned it out, and how I went about planning the sessions to begin with, because I'm not doing this with a coach. I'm doing this based on my own experience. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with the base training phase, it's essentially a four to six week block, maybe more, maybe less. We'll talk about that in the next video, where the focus is all about building up your aerobic capacity or aerobic engine. And essentially a stronger and more robust aerobic engine will allow you to train harder once your real training block comes. So my training over the last week has been mainly focused on building up that aerobic capacity, because like I mentioned, it's been a long time since I've consistently trained as well as trained for a purpose. My training has just purely been on remaining fit and remaining my weight. So the biggest thing for me is even though that I have experience with endurance sports, it has been a while since I've consistently run. So I don't want to go in there too hard, too fast and burn myself out or get injured. So what I've done intentionally is kept the mileage for week one relatively low. So the target mileage for previous week was at least 20 kilometers of running as well as additional walks, cycling and that different type of stuff. I do a lot of body strength workouts as well but the main block of training for running specifically was 20 kilometers so starting off january 1st we did a 4.6 kilometer run average pace of 809 now you'll see on my strava if you follow me that my runs are actually walk runs so i don't stop and start my run my watch for cool downs and warm-ups and that stuff so the pace that you see here isn't actually reflective of my running pace but it's an overall average pace for the entire session and that 4.6 kilometers took me 37 minutes and 53 seconds, burned 30, 335 calories. And the interesting thing here to look out at that I'm gonna be curious about as time goes on is tracking how my heart rate changes. As I get more aerobically fit and more efficient at using my body for running. Actually for this first workout, I chose not to use heart rate because I just wanted to get out there and not focus on anything other than just moving my legs. But let's move into the next workout and see what we have. So the next workout, the very next day, January 2nd, I did 4.48 kilometers, average pace 752, moving time of 35 minutes and 20 seconds. And here I did actually use a heart rate monitor. My average heart rate for this session overall was 131 beats per minute. So keeping it relative, very low actually, very, very low. And I ran these in a new shoe that I got last week that I'm also gonna do a video on, the 1080 version 13 by New Balance. Fantastic shoe, enjoying it a lot right now. Um, but I did most of my runs this week in that shoe actually. And again, the, the focus on these runs was to keep it very easy. I was nasal breathing through the majority of it. I could have phone conversations as my wife or my mom called. I kept it extremely light. And that is one thing for you folks getting into marathon training or getting into any endurance sports training, whether that be a 5K full Ironman, take the time to do a proper base phase where you're taking the time to really just have boring workouts. But those boring workouts are gonna pay dividends once you start your harder training. So. Anyway, let's go into the next workout. I did my next run on January 4th, and this one was 4.34 kilometers at a six minute and 54 kilometer pace. So picking it up just a bit. Moving time was 29 minutes and 58 seconds. Again, I wore the 1080 V13. And my average heart rate for this one, um, I don't see it here. Oh yeah, right here, 127 beats per minute. So you see the increase in pace did correlate to an increase in overall average heart rate. So the next run here, I did actually take a break on that Friday because I wanted to do a longer one on the Saturday. So January 6th, we did our first long run of this training block. We did a six kilometer run at a seven minute and 19 second pace, moving time of 44 minutes. Again, 1080 V13. 
money, loving that. Um, and a heart rate here, I'm actually curious to see how this goes because as you go on, you have cardiac drift. So the longer that you're working out, your heart rate is naturally gonna get higher. But actually here, we have an average heart rate of 126 beat per minute, which is kind of interesting because even though we're slightly slower than that previous run, you see that the heart rate average isn't actually that much higher, even though we were running for longer. So it's an interesting little correlation maybe I just felt extra fresh that day, which is actually true because even today, I'm feeling so much more fresh than at the beginning of last week. It's just, might be mental or maybe it's just what I need. I always find this after a long break of exercise and then adding it back into my life, it just reminds me, why do I ever stop? I actually wasn't gonna run on Sunday because the overall goal for the week was only 20 kilometers, but I was feeling so good. And the weather was not, not nice, not really great. It was super cold, but I just felt like running and that is a great sign. If you feel like running, you're doing your base training phase right. Because if you're feeling burnt out and feeling overworked, your base training phase, you might need to reevaluate how you're structuring your workouts. That's one great tidbit of information that I heard from somewhere, but if you're ready to run, you're doing base training right. So this one here, I did five kilometer run at an average pace of six minutes and 42 seconds. So our fastest run of the week yet at an overall moving pace of 33 minutes and 33 seconds. Um, I got a fitness point increase says Strava on, on this one. So that's a nice, nice little tidbit. This one I did use the Puma Velocity Nitro and that shoe or Puma Velocity Nitro number two, I believe it is. And it feels so fantastic. Average heart rate in this one is a bit higher at 130 beats per minute, but our max heart rate is 100 156 beats per minute. So lower peak than previous ones, higher average overall, because I was keeping the pace up for longer during these runs. So overall, that last week of training went pretty darn well. There were days where, of course, during those initial phases, I was nervous that I signed up for this marathon coming up and I was like, oh, did I butt off more than I could chew? Because those initial runs, they were tougher. But as I mentioned, as the week went on, I wanted to run and I felt so good, especially crushing off that first long run. Six kilometers is a long run for a lot of you folks is nothing. But for me, getting back started, that is where my entry point is and I'm not gonna feel bad about that. Do, are there demons in my head saying, look what you used to do and all this different type of stuff? Absolutely, but that does not matter. This is now and I can only move forward from the point that I'm at. Thank you all so much for your support and making it to the end of the video. If you haven't already, I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know of your 2024 race goals.